Okay, I'm logged into NetLab here, and I'm going to do a, a NetLab exercise. I'm working on Chapter 3, Securing Administrative Access Using um, AAA Services and an external authentication server, a uh, RADIUS server, or an external AAA server using a uh, RADIUS server. So we're going to try to configure that in this lab. So that should be pretty fun. Here's the topology. We've got R2 um, router here at the top, two firewall routers here, R1 and R3, and a couple of switches and a couple of PCs. Now we're going to open up PCA and configure our RADIUS server. So I've already got it open. Let's see here. There's PCA. I clicked on it and opened it up. And now what we'll do is we'll just set up its IP address. So we'll go in here, go over here, properties, and here, and here, set this up. I'm not sure if I really need DNS and uh, if we're resolving any names, but we'll do it anyway. I'll just set it to be the router for right now. Okay, and we'll close that up. And we'll close that up. Now, if you can see here, here is the WinRadius server, which we're going to fire up. Okay, we're going to start up the WinRadius server here and we'll get it open and you can see here it tells you no database is not uh, database is not found we need to go to settings database and create the ODBC for your radi radius database so it tells you exactly what to do here ODB service failed so we'll go to settings database right and we're gonna click configure ODBC automatically alright so we'll do that notice what it says here create ODBC successfully please restart win radius to take effects perfect okay so it created the database and the name is win radius and we've got a uh, users table we're gonna have a name table of logs and another table name so we've got three tables that are by default gonna be in there we'll click OK and then what we'll do is we will um, restart the server. So what we'll do is we'll say operation exit. All right. And then we'll restart the server. And it says here zero users were loaded. Win radius is running OK. It gives you the ports 1812 and 1813 that it's running on and it says that it's waiting for uh, NAS request packets. If no request packet reached, please check your NAS configuration. Okay, so it looks like it's running. And I guess this is a free version of the WinRadius server built in the NetLab, and that's pretty nice because it'll allow us to at least try it out and get it used. Um, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to uh, create users alright and if we have to restart the application we will have to recreate the users so what we'll do is we'll go to operation add user since it's a free server tool here and we'll set up a username and the lab suggests that we do rad for obviously for radius and then capital U user and then the password will be rad user and then pass alright and it looks like that's all we need and we'll click OK alright and it looks like we added a user okay let's go test out our um, WinRadius server and see if it's working so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to start and we'll go to programs and let's see here if we can find it in here. All right, I'm not seeing Win Radius in here. So what I'm going to do is I'll go to um, Start, and I will go to um, Documents. 
let's see here, we'll go to My Documents, and then I'll go up one folder, go into My Computer, go in the C drive, Program Files, and there's the WinRadius program. I'll go into the program, and I'm looking for a file, view as list here, called radiustest.exe. And using this program, I can run a test to see if the um, Radius server is working, right? So let's give it a launch. So I'll launch this test application, and I'll put in the IP address of the server. Right? Uh, the server's 1.3, actually, this computer, right? And what I'm going to do is I'll put in the username. Okay, there's the username. And then the password. And I'll hit send. Okay, it looks like the send access request was sent and um, on port 1813, and then we've got some hexadecimal characters here. Let's take a look at our WinRadius server to see if we get some output here. And it says that the user was authenticated okay. So it looks like we were able to test the WinRadius server and authenticate with the user that we created. Now all we need to do is configure AAA services um, on the router and let me let me go here now what we need to do is configure AAA services on the router so that authentication happens to the radius server located here and we'll do that next